Hey everybody, Gary Basecamp Trading. Take a look at gold today and this high-low reversal we had in gold today. This is our 30-minute chart and you can see that throughout the uh, London session gold was making a strong move to the upside and coming into the room um, our bias was actually to the upside. We were extended, so we were looking for a pullback and potentially a continuation higher because at this point, everything looks bullish. 50 above the 200, price breaking out of the cloud, all of our moving averages in alignment, bullish momentum. Everything here is suggesting that gold could potentially go higher. But instead, we ended up putting in this high low reversal bar. We The high was higher than the previous price bars high left the topping tail and the entire body of this bar was all selling closed way down here sitting right on top of support and again the 50 ema we know and the 200 ema we know those are very very often significant support and resistance areas the next bar left the topping tail triggered to the downside pulled right down to the 200 and then we broke under the 200 and just kept right on rolling we triggered in the the high low reversal bar as we were breaking support again ran right down to the 200 next bar went above it a little bit and then broke through and continued lower finally got deep significantly undervalued right here so that was a good place to take profits which also happened to be at a target area this is what that looked like on our Renko chart. This was where gold was making that push up. And then you can see we came right into this resistance line right here. We were overvalued and gold reversed from here. Pulled back, broke through the cloud, went down here to our midline. Again, we know the midline can also be a support and resistance line. Made our wick off the 18, breaking under support, came down to our next level of support. You see, you got a little reaction to that little wick right there. Then traded down into our next support line right here. We were a little extended, so if you wanted to take profits, that would have been a good place to do it. At the very least, tighten your, your stops. We had hit our um, oversold indicator on Trinder Pro 2.0 numerous bars in a row so that first reversal bar is always a good place to consider taking some profits we consolidated a little bit pulled back set up another wick off the 18 and then traded down into our next support line at this point we were deeply um, undervalued on our value charts plus we were making bullish divergence so uh, again another really good place to consider taking profits or at the very least tightening your stops but some nice runs down that initial wick off the 18 triggered us in at um, 1785.20 and able to run that all the way down into our first support area so potential to grab at least $800 per contract on that trade again depending on how you're managing your trades set up another wick off the 18 that triggered us in at 1778.30 and we're able to run that all the way down into this next line of support so again another potential to grab six seven hundred dollars on this move down so it just depends on how you're managing your trade but the opportunity was there our gravity lines give us our areas of support and resistance, gives us targets to trade to, helps us maximize our profits. So nice high-low reversal move in gold using our gravity lines to maximize our profits. And we're able to grab a couple decent trades in gold today.